Hello everyone and welcome to another Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd edition The Labyrinth of Ruin, my strategies, strategies and tactics Sorry, if I get this out of the way Because this one is for If I could pick up the cards uh, It's called the Hexer Right uh, This is a mage class So this is going to be quite intriguing First things first, what do you start off with? the uh, staff of the grave so it's a magic staff that's a ranged weapon of course it's a ranged weapon why would it not be a ranged weapon so uh, you have uh, a spender surge for plus one range spender surge uh, do one damage and recover one health uh, it's uh, blue and green though so it's really really um, short range that is uh, which might be not great, but still, there might be a reason for it. Alright, what do you uh, get though as a starting skill? Okay, let's see. Enfeebling Hex. Why you have a magic weapon equipped? Uh, well, why wouldn't you not have a magic weapon equipped? Uh, okay, um, each of your attacks gain. Spend a surge. Hex one monster within three spaces of your target. Uh, I quite like that. Uh, so it doesn't have to be the one that you're targeting. It's any uh, monster within three spaces. So it's like you have to have the line of sight of your targeting monster. But it doesn't state anything about having the line of sight. That's within the three spaces of the target. Uh, which is already good. Okay. Uh, when performing an attack targeting a hexed monster, a hero may discard any number of hex tokens before spending surges. This is uh, very, very good because uh, it's, uh, well, let's just say uh, I don't like the ones where it's like um, uh, get rid of uh, tokens and all that before dice are rolled. This is after all the dice are rolled. Uh, so, uh, the attack gains plus one damage for each hex token discarded. So you can easily whittle down your prey, as it were. And here's the uh, tokens. You get quite a lot of them in there. I bagged them up anyway. So I've got uh, quite a few nice small bags. Uh, there is quite a lot in there. It's... It's... it's yeah. Anyway. Might be coming down with another cold. Oh, let's hope not. Right, let's see what you're going to be buying with your experience points. First things first. The uh, first part is Viral Hex. One experience point. Okay. So exhaust this card during your turn to take a number of hex tokens equal to the number of hex monsters within three spaces of you. So you have to be really close. Uh, you may place each hex token on a monster of your choice within three spaces of you and it takes a stamina to use um, well it's quite quite a little bit difficult to get um, hex tokens on uh, the monsters so it's like you don't really have much of a choice but to have this uh, as as uh, yeah uh, if you do like one attack you might be able to get a, a hex token on a monster because say you have to move and your second action is to attack now well, let's just say you might miss whether it's in range or just um, rolling an X you, you might not have any hexes on any monsters at all so maybe sometimes you're going to have to be quite close uh, at the start and um, do two attacks kind of thing uh, and then it's all about being close as it's stated within three spaces of you so try not to go too far with uh, the um, uh, hex and monster within three spaces of the target uh, just so you can get more hex tokens out on other targets so yes it's a must to bring out more hex tokens because you're going to be needing it. Right. Plague spasm. 
Exhaust is card when a hex monster declares an attack before dice are rolled and uh, and uh, discard one hex token from that monster. So, okay, this is like I'm saying, you need to have uh, a lot of hex tokens out in order to actually make this class work. And yet again, it's a before dice are rolled. I don't like that. Uh, the target of the attack may add a black die to the defense pool, and it only takes one stamina. However, it is an exhaust, so it's definitely a one use only. Uh, it's it's pretty good if uh, you have a big scary monster that's actually uh, hexed, or maybe a lieutenant that can hit hard. Therefore, you can just go um, right. Someone's getting a black defense dice when it attacks. Uh, and then all of a sudden, after spending the, the uh, stamina, uh, the creature rolls an X. And then you're going, oh, but still. Uh, it, the hex still stays on it, so that's, that's something if you have more uh, hex on it. Uh, you know, it's like uh, you have to discard one hex token from the monster to get the uh, black dice. But I I'm saying it's like you hex it more than once. That that's the thing. Uh, you know, uh, one of it is to do other abilities, which would come later. Like I said, uh, best thing for hexing is big monsters and lieutenants. Uh, perhaps even some nuisances like. Um, uh, creatures that might actually have uh, black defense dice on them like the shades or or something that you might be aware of which is the um, all oh, those creatures that in the layer of the worm the hybrid sentinel there you go right anyway next yeah curse uh, hex them a few times and uh, you're laughing all right affliction all right Exhaust this card when a hex monster declares a move action and discard one hex token from that monster. Like I was saying, uh, have more than one hex on it. Okay, so uh, that monster immediately suffers one damage. In addition, that monster suffers uh, one damage for each space it moves during its activation and it only takes one stamina. And this is something for more like laughing at the Overlord when uh, they need to bring uh, a creature carrying like an objective token to their goal. Uh, this is what this is uh, where you're gonna just laugh at them as long as they're hex, of course. You always want to target those that might want be uh, carrying the uh, um, the. The, the objective tokens for themselves so anyway what else are you going to be thinking of spending because this is now the next lot which is the uh, spend two experience points this is fell command exhaust this card when the overlord chooses a hexed monster to activate discard Sorry, uh, discard one hex token from that monster to immediately perform an attack with it. You make all the choices during the attack. After the attack is resolved, the monster activates as normal and it takes up two stamina. So, two stamina to um, uh, uh, kind of attack with a uh, hex monster. Of course, you have to discard the hex token, but as I was saying, uh, trying to hex it more than once. Uh, this this card c can be extremely dangerous uh, to the Overlord, of course. Especially if um, if you can control f uh, creatures that actually have stun or immobilize. Uh, if you get to target uh, monsters that are uh, that hasn't activated yet, then therefore they're going to have a hard time doing stuff. Uh, well, unless they're uh, uh, ranged creatures, then 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 they're not. But still, uh, ones that do um, like poison or other things, or 
you know, other conditions. Or you just might roll an X and that's two stamina wasted. Uh, that, that's, that's the thing about uh, attacking, you, you just don't know. Still, it's a good card. Just to make a monster attack someone, <laughs> uh, another monster. Could even kill it, you know. Oh, that's my finger getting in the way of the next one, which is internal rot. Sounds nice. Each time a monster becomes hexed, which uh, you want to do it more than once, of course, you may place one additional hex token on that monster. This is where I was talking about get hexing the uh, monster more than once. <laughs> uh, do that twice, and that's four hex tokens on that monster. Preferably, like I said, big monsters or lieutenants. Uh, each of your attacks with a magic weapon, which why wouldn't it be magic? Uh, targeting a hex monster gains pierce two. Uh, yes, yes, please. Must get, must get, must get. Uh, you don't have a choice. If you don't get it, then you're fired. Uh, if you still don't get it, then you should just not play this class at all, otherwise uh, you are dumb. And let's face it, you don't want to be dumb. You want to get this card. Uh, yeah, definitely get that card. Like I was saying, uh, that, that's the best card to go for, uh, like double hexing, as, I, as that's what I was trying to get to beforehand. All right. Uh, next one is the Crippling Curse, uh, so it's a skill, I exhaust a card to choose any number of Hex monsters. So when it comes down to, um, like I was saying, the Viral Hex to Hex more monsters, then uh, yes, yes, that's what you want. This goes well with this. Uh, for each monster chosen, test your knowledge. And each test you pass, which why wouldn't you, you may choose one condition for the corresponding monster to suffer, and it takes two stamina. Uh, it does state the uh, you get to choose any number of monsters. That's hexed. Um, yeah, so go for it. Um, melee creatures, make them... Uh, immobilized so they can't do anything so you could actually add more hexes to them with the viral hex uh, others it is like poisoned or anything like that it, I think the best one to go for is definitely uh, immobilize uh, so you, when it comes down to your turn again viral hex and, and, and you're laughing although it does take two stamina to use now it comes down to the last ones, which of course is the ones that are more expensive. Your free staminas. Staminas? No oh, experience points. However, there is one that's free stamina, but I'll get to that one last. This one is uh, Accused Arms. Uh, exhaust uh, this card during your turn to choose one hero adjacent to a hex monster. The chosen hero may immediately perform one attack targeting a hexed monster and it takes two stamina. So two stamina to make one hero attack a, he a hexed monster. Um, it, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, it is li literally... Um, trying to bring down a big giant monster or a lieutenant this is the card that can, can do so um, unless they miss and then that's two stamina wasted like I said this this class is quite um, quite uh, stamina heavy uh, which comes down to the last card uh, which is plague cloud which is probably the best best um, level 3 card there is. Right, check this out. So it's a skill. Uh, perform an attack with a magic weapon. If you're not using a magic weapon, then what are you using this class for? Uh, this attack targets uh, each hex monster in your line of sight and ignores range. Each figure rolls defense dice separately. 
Right, before rolling dice for the attack, each monster adjacent to a target monster is hexed. It takes free stamina. So, it's like, uh, you, say your um, hexer is here. Yeah, if I had some models, that would have been a little bit more better. There, that looks better already. So, when doing something like uh, the Poison Cloud, of course, uh, it's um, before you roll the dice, uh, each monster adjacent to the target is hexed. So, you can see this one's hexed, so that one becomes hex, uh, like so. That one's hex, so these two become hexed. Like so. That, like that. So, and uh, then it's uh, all about uh, perform the attack uh, that targets each hex monster within line of sight. So now all of them are going to be attacked. It wasn't just this one and this one, it's all of it. That's really, really <laughs> nice. Right. But like I said, it, it, it does take free, but it's d definitely quite worth it. Although there's no way you're going to get in a situation like this. <sighs> right, so uh, how about we do some... Uh, shopping in Act 1. What are you going to try and find in that? Well, how about a good one to go for is the uh, Ring of Power giving you plus one stamina. Of course you need all that stamina. Anyway, uh, Elven Boots, uh, plus one movement, get you into the position where you need to be. Uh, Mana Weave, uh, add your search to your results. Especially when, um, uh, when it comes down to the uh, the enfeebling hex, so you can actually hex. Uh, please remember that this is always going to be uh, there if you have a magic weapon. So uh, you you when it's literally whenever you're you're attacking. Uh, so when you're doing your uh, like uh, play cloud, it's perform an attack, but you still have your uh, get surge uh, hex one monster. Right, okay. Just wanted to let you know that. Anyway, uh, Lucky Charm, uh, reroll attribute test, just so you don't become, I don't know, cursed or anything stupid like that. Uh, you got the Scorpion Helm, where you become cursed by then. Uh, plus one range, uh, get into a better ranging thing so you can actually hit stuff. You have the old rune plate. Which is uh, grey dice. Uh, if your uh, knowledge is four or higher, get plus two health. And if you have a rune equipped, so replace the uh, grey defense with a black defense. And uh, thief's vest, which is a light armor, get might and awareness. And with a brown defense dice, you have leather armor with plus one health. Get you survivability a bit more. If you need to get in closer. It gives you a brown defense dice, a heavy cloak, uh, cancel a surge. Got the sunburst, so magic rune, stun plus two damage. You have the uh, life drain scepter, magic one, of course. Uh, if the attack deals at least one damage, recover health with plus two damage and weaken. Uh, teleportation rune, Look, magic again. Yeah, all of these weapons are going to be the uh, class of magic, by the way. So ranged and damage, and after resolving the attack, you may choose an empty space within two spaces of you and place your figure in a chosen space. Uh, immolation, pierce, uh, damage, and range. Magic staff. Uh, if you deal one damage to a monster within, no, deal one damage to another monster within three spaces of the target, and you also have the range as well. And magma blast, blast, burn, uh, which could be quite handy. Uh, let's say uh, blast. Uh, uh, and you always spend up a, a surge on blast and spend a surge on hex. So in other words, 
or all those creatures in the blast area is that's going to be damaged is also going to be hex. Well, actually, no, you, no, they're going to be hex automatically as long as you don't roll an X or not in range. Right, how about in um, Act 2? What are you going to look for on that? Well, you also have the Black Iron Helm, uh, plus 2 health, add a defense to your defense pool, keep your life a lot more better. The Ironbound Ring, plus 2 health, if you roll any blanks, uh, add 1. Uh, shield bonus, keeping you alive because you need to be a little bit close. Uh, Shroud of Dusk, plus one attributes. Trivial Crystal, uh, okay, so you exhaust the card to add one, to roll one red power dice and uh, recover health. Like I said, you need to be kind of close to these creatures. Right, Demon Hide Lever. Uh, if you perform two move actions, which you're more than likely not, you do suffer a stamina. But like I said, you're probably not. But you do get a extra grey dice. Uh, inscribed robes. Uh, you exhaust a card after rolling defense to replace the results with the number of uh, shields to your knowledge. You have the uh, lightning strike, magic. You say blast. Plus two damage. Plus two damage. But it's the blast. Uh, it blasting rune when a monster is defeated during an attack with this weapon each figure adjacent to the defeated monster suffers two damage double surge four damage there uh, staff of the wild uh, do any of them just for fun uh, plus one range plus two damage uh, plus one uh, damage and recover a stamina which is very good. Like I said, that's quite a lot of stamina uh, cost there. Rune of Misery. Right there. Curse, range damage, double surge of plus four. You have the Staff of Kelos, magic. Okay, so it's plus two range, plus two damage, burn. And then you've got the Ice Storm, which is immobilized and plus two damage. Like I said, immobilized is always fun when you need to be close to creatures just to hex more creatures anyway that's all I have um, yeah 